Welcome back, everyone. A migrant caravan heading from Central America to the U.S. border right now. Hundreds of Honduran immigrants just crossed into Guatemala several hours ago, and they are planning to apply for humanitarian visas so they can pass through Mexico. And President Trump tweeted about it earlier. He warned that if the caravan is not stopped, money and aid to Honduras will be cut off. Here's Leila Santiago. They've been traveling by foot for days. Among them, mothers carrying young children, men being pushed in wheelchairs. This group of about 3,000 Honduran migrants is headed to the United States in search of a better life, fleeing poverty and violence in their home country. They made the long trek through Honduras to the Guatemala border, then on to the city of Esquipulas, where the group clashed with Guatemalan police who blocked one of the border crossings. It's a long journey, but they say they do not have much of a choice. There's much corruption here in Honduras. We want to work. There is none. We want land to plant bananas, plantains, beans. There isn't any, brother. We need to migrate to another country, brother. In the hospitals, there's no security. There's nothing. Our patients die, brother. President Donald Trump threatened the Honduran government if the caravan continues on, he says, tweeting. The United States has strongly informed the president of Honduras that if the large caravan of people heading to the United States is not stopped and brought back to Honduras, no more money or aid will be given to Honduras effective immediately. The Department of Homeland Security expanded on Trump's tweet, calling the caravan a, quote, result of well-advertised and well-known catch-and-release loopholes. Andrea Aleman, who's making the journey with her four children, believes she should be allowed into the U.S. We're heading to the United States. We're going to arrive with Donald Trump. He has to receive us. Just as we receive the Americans over here, they will have to accept us over there. One of the group's organizers says that the plan is to walk across Guatemala and reach Tapachula in southern Mexico. There, they hope to apply for humanitarian visas or get asylum. According to the U.S. State Department, Honduras has had one of the highest murder rates in the world since 2010. The World Bank reports that over 66 percent of the population lives in poverty. Leila Santiago, CNN.